Good afternoon. Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live over the past couple of days from the 34th Annual Futures and Options Expo in Chicago. Joining me from for this segment from NASDAQ's Booth 427, we have Jeremy Diamond. He's the president of the Americas with the Web Financial Group. And we're going to talk about uh, trends within fintech, particularly around design. That's pretty interesting. We never talk about design when it comes to fintech and data trends. Um, give us some more insight as it applies to the financial sector. Absolutely. So we sit in a, in a unique spot. We're at the intersection of big data, including market data that are, is produced by exchanges like you, uh, financial technology, software, and design. And what we're seeing more and more is design really drives consumption, specifically data consumption. Right. Very similar to our phones, right? Our data plans are out of control. Um, just this week, I was at our automotive dealership, and the technician said, I'm, my, my infotainment center is available for an upgrade. And a lot of the tech said, be careful, the UI and the UX, the user interface and the user, uh, uh, just the overall navigation is much worse. And once you upgrade, you can't go back. So what we're, what we're finding is the same is true for uh, financial technology, specifically trading technology. Um, we, we rolled out in conjunction with BBVA in Spain um, a trading application that was uh, mobile first, so so very very friendly to an iPad and a mobile device. And BBVA gave it away free to anybody that had a brokerage account. And what they saw is trading volume increased 40%. Oh, wow. Right? So um, it was a very successful model, and that was simply just having a very complex, what, what can become a very complicated process, super simple and stream, streamlined. So would you say that financial data is helping to drive these solutions? Absolutely. So financial data is the gasoline that drives these solutions. Right. But if it's difficult and cumbersome to get to, we find that people get stuck and, and there's a lack of engagement. Right. So looking ahead to 2019 and beyond, how do you think the industry is going to look? How do you think it's going to be shaped going forward? Because it seems to be the need for data, the need for speed continues to increase almost as fast as the industry can keep up. hundred percent. So I think uh, data that was that was once extremely unique 10 years ago is now commoditized, driving pricing pressures down. Um, but the, the emergence of uh, alternative data, right, that provides a lot of value is of huge value for uh, folks that can generate profit from it, specifically signals. So I think the direction actually the NASDAQ's going with the analytics hub mm -hmm. is, precisely, is precisely the way to go. Um, some friends in the industry and myself have tracked a database of alternative data providers. And I think it's at 560 line items, right? So the average consumer, even the institutional consumer, doesn't know what's available to him or her and wants an easy spot to be able to bring that down. I think the problem is just ingesting all that content, right, fast enough, um, it's a good problem to have, but there's, there's so much content. Available. It sounds like we're still in the beginning phases or the first inning of everything that we can do with big data. Absolutely. We know how to consume it. Now, what do we do with it is what it sounds like, That's right? exactly right. That's exactly right. And so from a user interface perspective, we work with over 300 uh, banks, online brokers, and exchanges mm -hmm. globally. And we work a lot with the retail, uh, the retail market, right? And there's a lot of really smart advertising technology and financial technology that can be derived from content and data following click streams and, and doing, you know, hey, if you looked at this security or this asset class, let me suggest this one, but very few are doing it. Um, so I think driving engagement with very personalized content and even even a look and feel that might be similar to other websites that you browse before you right. got onto the channel is the way of the future. All right, so super interesting. Thank you so much for spending time with thank us. You. And thank you for spending time with me. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter.